ministry is revelational knowledge. Knowledge we are seeing is purely revelation. It's not knowledge you read in the paper or you take, you have read, we have many people that have read a lot of books. You have read a lot of books, they go to your shelf, they say a lot of books. You have read. There's no book you have not read. But when you come here, you become baby again. You now ask yourself, what is happening? I have never seen it. That's why I call it revelational knowledge. True prophet of God. You cannot see them in, in occasion anyhow. Because of the di different, they know people sitting down, they are different people. You, can, you invite a prophet to a, 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 a marriage or occasion, and a prophet of God will sit there, sit down there, where there are witches, wizards, people that sit with human head there, some people sit upside down, some people use people's head as a bench, and in that state, a lot of people, different people sit down, and a true prophet of God will sit down there, and it's not possible for him, he can never be comfortable. So you don't see a prophet coming, and sit down, crowd. Ha! Ah, he can never be comfortable, because what he's seeing with his you see different people. Oh, suddenly you just see a prophet going to the market and begin to buy uh, meat, cassava, in the market. This is why they are not people you can see on the street. If you don't have the vision, power, if you are not a communicator, fine. But I don't know how God can call you when you are not a communicator. You must be a communicator between visible world and invisible world. And if you are a communicator, it's not easy for you to just be on it. I mean, 